In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the upscaling feature in Leonardo AI. And why you should care about this is that most of the time when you're using generative AI and you're making an image, you won't really get the level of quality or detail or refinement that you want to really be able to use that image in any sort of professional way or setting. You can use it, it's fine. You can maybe use it for something like a blog post, whatever. But if you wanna actually use it as a high quality asset and you wanna actually do promotion, etc., with it, you're gonna to wanna to do what's called upscaling. And in simple terms, all we're talking about is really taking an image. I'm gonna give you an example of this image right here. So this is an image of a robot building a deck. And if you see this, if I slide back and forth as I slide over, this is the upscaled version, I get lots more detail out of the upscaled image. So everything is shinier. It's a little bit hard to tell maybe even with your resolution right there, but everything looks so much better. It looks so much more real. I'm gonna give you an example right here. I had a guy, this one right here, this was generated with Dolly. And then I took that image from Dolly and then I put it into Leonardo. And when I upscaled it, I got a significantly upgraded, upscaled representation of this guy and his settings. And then the background wasn't as blurry and it just really overall scaled the quality up and it also brought up the megapixels, the dimension, everything like that. So going into straight away, how do we use this upscaler? Let's break it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with ChatGPT. I've got a image prompt generator over here. It's a custom GPT that I built that will help make us a prompt. So what we're going to do is we're going to say something like, uh, you know, make us 10 prompts for, you know, and we'll start with an idea. The idea I'll go for is uh, make me 10 prompts that represent a female motorcycle rider wearing a helmet, holding a helmet, different poses, same character. I'll say, um, like blonde. I'm just gonna go in there and sit and just like kind of add some characteristics. I'm gonna say like um, blonde, uh, red bike, um, sunny day, and I'm gonna say like um, mountain background. Okay, so these are just like kind of broad thoughts that I'm laying down, but let's say that we're gonna do some sort of um, you know motorcycle brand type thing. And what I could do is like I could go and I can make this image in Leonardo or Dali or LimeWire or some sort of generative AI uh, solution. I could build it anywhere. And if I get, you know, a really cheap, like low resolution, but like good conceptually good image, I can take it and then bring it over to Leonardo and then I can upscale it and get a much higher output. So as these prompts are generating, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fire these up and I'll show you a couple different you know, ways we're gonna get a lower quality image and then we're gonna really boost that up to make it a higher uh, upscaled asset. So over here, I'm gonna go into the image generation side. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put in this prompt right here, an image depicting a blonde female motorcycle rider as she performs a check on her red motorcycle. The sunny mountain backdrop offers a serene setting. She's wearing a half open helmet, revealing her focused expression detail the technical aspects of the motorcycle and her protective gear cool that would make sense if we're like doing some sort of um brand for like a motorcycle um you know motorcycle brand deal so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna generate real quick i'm gonna set uh i'm gonna use kino alchemy photo reel two images we're not too worried about this one um i'll show you i'll take the same prompt and do that in limewire all right so over here in the limewire ai studio we can go over here throw that in um, go to generate, we'll use Blue Willow version four and we'll get a couple different dimensions. We'll crank us up to high quality. We'll go ahead and wait for that one to run and then we'll get our next one. I'll say generate an image. Now, some of the outputs here, just be aware, like you might have to tune it um, a little bit. You might need to take a couple of swings here. It is not guaranteed to be like, right off the top, amazing in some of these image generation uh, capabilities. Like you can go to yeah, a bunch of them now and you know some of them run off of algorithms that are not 
as pristine as you'd like maybe so you know just keep that in mind maybe you know prompt a couple times even with the same prompt and just and just see what you you get and then we'll take that over okay so from leonardo i got this one this is pretty good um this one is also not bad like we actually have a face kind of going on here right in both cases whereas before you know the half open helmet thing like that was okay um, but the motorcycle was jacked up but what i'll do is i'll just take like one or two examples over you can see there's a couple issues with this one like her eye is kind of weird um the leg is it's kind of not in proportion so right like maybe we'll see what happens with some upscaling but ultimately we want some of that to be kind of eroded by the time that we get to upscaling so that, that way we just get much more high quality and we're really just kind of filling in the sort of um the details and really just making that image bigger and more usable and that being the key thing so from limewire i got this one and, and maybe what i'll do is i'll take this one over with me as well and um we'll just kind of do a side by side comparison all right so i'll go ahead and i'll download that and i think i might grab another one um maybe even this one because this one's not half bad either so i'll just go ahead and download that um, and then going back over here to Leonardo, we're going to get, I think we said we were going to get this one and let's see, maybe we'll get this one as well. So we'll take these and we'll upscale a few examples. So the, the way to do this really is when you go in the universal upscale, you're just going to click here and then upload your image, set these settings. There's not a lot of, um, crazy things to be aware of just, uh, just keep in mind you have like an upscaler style you can kind of change that depending on what you're doing you have a creativity strength so that's going to kind of focus on uh how much uh, intensity and change that you're going to get from the source image to what you effectively get at the end when it's upscaled and the upscale multiplier that's like the final image size and then the dimensions and the megapixels that's all there now you can provide prompt guidance and you can say something in there that might change a, a little bit more based off of how you provide it so like with this i could i could maybe upscale this image again and i could say no plants and then the idea would be that it would remove the plants in the background and, and take them out and that could be something like prompt guidance that we would provide in there so okay so we go in here click upload images boom we have some in there uh they're all kind of here under recent images and so the upscaling right it it brings it up quite a bit and so we do have to keep in mind that that's that's gonna happen right so um what we'll do is we'll go and uh we'll take this one initially right and when we take this one we'll go ahead and just kind of leave it as is i'm gonna add a little bit of creativity strength to it right i'm gonna leave it um i'm gonna maybe pick cinematic see how that is and then i'm gonna hit upscale this does take some time to run so definitely keep that in mind i will go ahead and pick another one i think um out of the favorites that i had maybe want to go with this one uh this one it definitely like the expression and like the background and everything was like kind of framed well so that's why i kind of like that one so let's go ahead um take that all good to go upscaler style cinematic cool um, we'll go ahead and upscale with that and then we'll show you the difference in the slider whenever those are done which will take just a few minutes okay so let's take a look at what we got so if you see the before and then you see the after you can see that this is like incredibly more crisp we have a lot more detail reflection I mean it's very real the only thing it is definitely in question here we have a little bit of a hand going on but you know okay we have a lot um, we have a lot going on. I think beforehand that was that was tape, um, and you know, but you know, like the world of difference, right? So on this other one, let's look at this. So if we look right here, so this is the photo we have. Um, kind of like weird AI eyes. The face isn't clear, and then like in this one, we get like clear face, clear machine, the motorcycle. It even has like a great fake logo, right? Like the cylinders there, the engine, everything about it is like much more clear. The only critique that I have is that like this is kind of slouched and weird. So, you know, there's definitely like a lot of thoughts behind like, what are we really doing here? You know, we might want to crop out the top part, but you're definitely leaning into where you're, you're getting, um, you know, some significantly like higher 
quality assets by doing this so you know i hope this like kind of shows you like the the value of uh, you know something like this is definitely really changing the quality of the outputs that you can provide and you know all you got to do is show up and, and and try it out ultimately i'm going to have links below to the prompt generator leonardo ai and limewire if you want to go check those out if you need any helps wor help working through the steps that i laid out in this video definitely drop a comment below and i will try my best to help but until next time have a good one